top of the morning to you, Instagram. It's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the trains to the vet. Uh, yes, it is the morning. It's, we're in Blue Light. Shout out to Blue Light Brigade. Hey, we representing. Well, we've been up for a while, you know, doing our little meditation and stuff like that. But, uh, look, you know, yesterday something very strange happened. I did an Instagram Live, right? And it didn't go up. It was missing, whatever have you. But we always got that covered. You know why? For instance, today is a Tuesday. Tuesday is uh, U.S. Politics Day. Right, that's according to the. Right. On tomorrow, Wednesday is World World Situation Day. Thursday is Audio Drama Day. The best. Uh, Friday is a day that I sort of you know wrap up whatever or put, put loose ends together. So what I'll do on Friday, as I'll repeat or well, repeat, I'll do a new thing that my topic on Monday. See, so, hey, you know, and then Saturday and Sunday, just whatever comes to my head, which also could be the same thing. So, hey, you got you got to have ways to, to deal with this stuff. I actually think there's, no, nah, I'm not going to be paranoid. That's just not my nature, right? Okay, here's the thing. Tuesday, politics, U.S. politics. I should say, I should start saying U.S. situations because, you know, uh, the politics is sort of, I don't want to say boring, but they make it sort of like stupid. I mean really stupid but here's what I say because I want to be short because just in case they cut me off one of the one of the one of the most favorite most favorite what one of my favorite films <laughs> well my long list of favorite films right is uh the original notice I said the original the longest yard the one with Burt Reynolds uh, you know and Eddie Albert bunch of other people right well the reason why I like that film so much is because uh, the, the, it's, it's a football film well it takes place in a prison right uh, we saw the remake you know what I'm talking about the one with Chris Rock in it okay. take place in a prison and uh, it ends up this, this uh, quarterback this professional quarterback gets thrown in prison for a number of reasons right and uh, the, the, the um, warden of the prison right at some particular point who had uh, it's part of this uh, say, say syndicate that divides this game where once a year the, the prisoners play the guards, right? Okay, good premise. So, so anyway, so, so Burt Reynolds has got to get his little team together. They get the team together and uh, they're practicing, practicing. They realize, oh, man, we ain't that good. You know, they're going to slaughter us. Because uh, because part of this is that uh, the Eddie Howard car character, you know, uh, the, the warden of the prison, he uh, there's bets going on, you know, side bets, all kinds of bets going on, what's going to happen. Because the big bet is, you know, the guards are going to beat up on the prison, right? Okay. So, so Burt Reynolds is practicing squad, but you know, they ain't got much traction. They ain't got much, you know. They got the quarterback and they got the shooting teacher, but you know, uh, I think even the guy that played in Jaws is in it. I don't, I can't remember that one, but uh, one of the big guys, right? Play there. Okay. At some particular point in the prison, the, the, there's only one black guy working with, uh, or a couple, one, one black guy working with, with, with. Uh, with the quarterback, you know, with, with, with the uh, with Reynolds character, right? But he finally gets to to get the black prisoners talking to them logically, you know, that, hey, you know, blah, 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 you did that, did that. So then the black prisoners decide, okay, we'll join in. Whoa, then it's on. Yee, talk about screenwriting, you know, and put all those things in order, because, you know, this, this, this thing for screenwriting, everything's in order. So now the black guys join the team. That's when things go, well, let's call it uh, sideways <laughs> for the guard, for the guards and, and the fix that was in, right? Okay. This is what's happening in U.S. politics. What happens is black people were marginalized so much, because marginalized like, oh, then we don't, we don't, you know, we got them in the bag, blah, 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 blah. So they, they off to the side, right? But, you know, black people being off to the side, you know, we, it's not like we don't be thinking, you know, it's not like we don't be plotting and planning, you know, we plot and plan, but, you know, we ain't going to just jump every time some white man say blah, blah, you see? Let me, hold hold that thought, let me show you what I'm talking about. I can't, I, I, I tell you, when I went to, when I uh, went to Bronx Community College, you see, I went from Peter Roosevelt High School to Bronx Community College. That's part of this college discovery program. It's a whole, whole thing. The one that started the SEEK program in New York, the, the, the prototype for that, and which, which they had, they had uh, uh, 
I say monitor since I was in fourth grade, you know. So they got the, the people, the, the people that, that, that the, college, the original college discovery people, you know, that, that did the sick thing. We were like, we weren't like the top intellects, but we weren't like, well, the, <laughs> the, the 9 12 class. <laughs> it's a little it's a rock show. Uh, but we like that, you know, we like potential. I think that's the word they use, potential, right? So, so, so as you keep on going through, you meet other people with potential. So you sort of get your level of people. They're not the smart people that get bullied, you know, and they're not the stupid people. No, I'm sorry, I am stupid. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I take that back. They're not the other people who, who bully the smart people, right? We just, you know, some of us, you know, we, we can, you know, we can, we can throw down, but we also can throw down, you see? Okay. So when I got to Bronx Community College, I ended up meeting my peoples, right? And what were we, right? It was a, we basically, it was a little think tank. It was, the, I'm going to say guys and girls. There were three guys, three girls, and we had two cats that were the mentors, the, the, uh, 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 Billy and Bobby Shepard. They were, they, they were, they were, they were in the Vietnam. They were, they, we, we, were, we were a political think tank, let's put it that way, for the larger organization, the uh, symbol was a larger organization for Bronx Community College at the time. You know, we had to, man, oh, we would read books, you know, I was, I was like a pig in the slop, man. I mean, we were reading books and discussing it in that little group and blah, blah, blah. We're a think tank, right? Now, that's important because around about the same time, think tanks was growing up in, like, universities, you know. Like, that's where the, the, the what's the, the Rand Corporation and people like that. I think we, even, we were even before the, those up. Anyway, the point is there was these, these, this phenomenon happens around the world, you know. So these think tanks are going But the difference between us and them, because we just – we just college students, you know, four years or two years, whatever we're going to be, we're going to be gone, you know, so we don't sustain ourselves. These guys, they get, they get paid. It becomes a career to be a think tanker. But the problem is they don't get out into the real world. We won't get into that right now, but I'm just saying, right? So, so, so what I'm trying to say, so this phenomenon of these think tanks comes up. And then who, who, who funds it? The people who are in control, who run the games. Who run the fixed games? Who, who who think who think because they run the games they're going to be boom 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 uh, victors, right? So let's go back to the movie, right? <laughs> the film, the cinema, as we uh, as, as as we would say, right? Uh, the Longest Yard. <laughs> so it comes down at some particular point, one of the highlights of the film is somebody gets some some da da da, and they get uniforms. Oh, so now they like they like. <laughs> they give a white reference. I don't really want to get the white reference. Ah, I give it. They're like uh, Spartans. Uh, is there a black reference I could use? They're like, I don't really want to look, do the Shaka Zulu thing. Okay, go say They're like Shaka troops, you know what I mean? Shaka Zulu troops, you know what I mean? They're ready. They, they dress the part. They own it. You know, there's a cheering section. Every, every, it's a regular football game. Then they're at the very end. Oh, oh, oh I should say. Spoiler alert. Well, the printers whop up on the guards. They beat them down. They they win the game, right? I say, well, it's only a game. You're right. It's only a game. The point is, like, the fix was in. And the warden was so uh, peeved that, you know, that he lost. Because I guess he was, he was uh, how you say, uh, beholden to, 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 to how you say, Higher ups, whatever happens, they wasn't supposed to lose, but they lost, right? At some particular point, the game ball was sitting someplace like that, and so the Burt Reynolds character had to walk, walk over and get the game ball, you know? So what he had to, but he, he, it's his game ball. So as he's walking, the 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 the, the warden, you know, the idiot, whatever, he says, uh, tells the, the one of the guards, you know, shoot him, he's trying to escape, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, and the guard who knew about the game and knew, hey, we lost fair and square, I ain't gonna shoot this guy, didn't shoot him, right? And basically, I'm gonna get to, basically, that's, that's, the, that's the game, but here's the thing. What's interesting is both, remember, both the prisoners and the guards are still in the same situation, they're still in jail, just said, well, the guards get to go home and smoke a cigarette, you know, you know talk to the old lady, you know, maybe get a different kind of meal, right? But they still got to come back to the same, <laughs> the next day, right? Now the war, the war is everybody in that situation is, is in that situation, 
So right now we're in a situation, this, what's happening in the world politics or whatever have you, is that we all in, in jail, as Mr. Neil Fuller Jr. would say, yeah, way to confinement, whatever it's a solitary confinement, we're all in jail, right? And there's nothing, and the only way we're going to not break out is we have to say, well, let's, let's broaden our minds. Let's, bro yeah, that's, 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 that's from Batman, you know, Jack Nixon character before they walk into the they said, let's broaden our minds. Lawrence, and they open this door. Don't worry, it's another movie. Okay. So what happens, I mean, what what what, what had happened <laughs> is that the, the, the guards and, 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 and the prisoners basically, they, not that they don't realize, but they're in the same situation. And you see this. And you see that the guy giving the order, the warden giving the order to shoot that person. When the guards say, hey, we ain't going to do it, they lose their power. In other words, the guard wasn't paying the, playing the game. Well, they played the game. The game came out fair, and then, and then, then the warden wanted, wanted to change the game. At the end of the game, that ain't gonna happen, right? Now, what we have to do is expand that because the the the, the this whole thing, you know, I love my peoples. Black peoples is the best. I'm talking about Black Americans. You know, I'm, I'm talking about you know the lineage Black Americans. We the best. I'm just saying that straight out, right? Because what's go, what, what's happening now is that the, we all everybody is buzzing. Oh, oh, they don't want to help. Help. They want to deal with the rep, reparations. And then you got, you, of course, you got the Negro PNs who like they. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no! You, the, you don't understand. We gotta. We gotta. Go. And other and the, 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 the others say, no, 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 brother. <laughs> that ain't happened. You, know, you ever seen the movie Petrified for Forest with? Uh, with Humphrey Bogart, they, uh, on one side they had the, the sophisticates, you know, they have a black butler, whatever, and the cr criminals with, with Humphrey Bogart, Humphrey Bogart, they, they got this black chauffeur, right? Well, he drives a car. And uh, and one scene, the black, sh the black chauffeur, the black driver, the, with the criminal driving the car, he's tying the, the uh, uh, tying up the uh, the black, uh, whatever he was. Uh, the, the black domestic, the, the, the dude that's the black domestic for the for the hoity toity people, right? And the, the brother says something, well, brother, blah, blah. And he says, brother, ain't you heard of the revolution? Duh, that's it. That is such a. I, look, I would, sometimes I do wish I do kept, continue to do normal radio on certain things because I would take certain clips and just play them, right? Oh, oh, man, I would have such a good time. I might still do that, man. I'm going to start a radio. That's not the point. So what I'm trying to say is, everybody's realizing it's a game. And then you have to have, who's well, who's going to expose the game? The only people that can really expose the game is lineage, lineage reparations people. Lineage reparations people can bust this thing right open, destroy the paradigm, destroy all the prison walls, destroy everything. I shouldn't say destroy. Uh, make them obsolete. You can add, you can destroy it by I'm sorry you can make it obsolete by ignoring them. Do what you do, and let them do what they do. But you ignore what they do because if you start paying attention to what they do, you're basically wa uh, uh, washing it, washing in their backwash. Therefore, you ain't got out of it. They keep you in it by making you pay attention to them. Stop paying attention to them. <laughs> don't, don't pay attention to them. Pay attention to what you're supposed to be doing. Do what you're supposed to do. Don't take care. Talk to you soon.